And now if I come over here and I click on the shape and drag it around, now we've got these cool little guides telling us exactly where to place this. <laughs> All right, so next up is one of the more exciting Inkscape 1.2 features, in my opinion, and that is the relocation and refactoring of the snap controls bar. So that used to be this long bar here across the right side, the entire right side. And let me actually come over here and just exit out of that layers dialog. So there used to be a bar that went all the way across here, just like you see here with the control bar. So it would go all the way across the right side. Now the snapping is contained inside this one single icon as well as this popover menu as Inkscape calls it. So this icon is going to toggle snapping on or off. If I click on it, now snapping is toggled on. And if I click on it again, snapping is turned off. So let me just keep this turned on. And now let's see what's happening under the hood here. So I'm going to click this little popover menu and now you're going to see at first this simplified snapping menu. So this is saying we have snapping to bounding boxes, snapping with our nodes, and we have this alignment snapping option which is actually turned off. More on that in a second, very exciting. So I'm going to grab my rectangle tool and let's draw the rectangle, change the color here to something different. And let's draw another rectangle here grab the select tool there. And so you'll see this is now gonna snap to the bounding box. You guys who have used Inkscape are gonna know what this is all about. You're probably using this every day. So that will just snap to the shape next to it. The next new feature here in the little snapping popover menu is one I'm super excited about and I know you guys are as well. And that is the new Smart Guides feature. So yes, this is something we've been waiting for for a very long time. And you can enable the Smart Guides feature by clicking the alignment button there. And now if I come over here and I click on the shape and drag it around, now we've got these cool little guides telling us exactly where to place this. And you'll see it's giving us little real-time measurements there as we move it around. I'm going to delete this and I'm going to shrink this down. So something else they say you should be able to do with the smart guides, if I hit control D to copy this, is you should be able to create a uh, sort of grid here. So let's see if this is gonna work. So yeah, there it's giving me the spacing. So it's allowing me to evenly space, if I hit control D again, evenly space all these elements, which then allows me to very quickly place this in a grid. So control D and I'm going to move this down. So it's not gonna work whenever I have two rows apparently. Maybe it will. So yeah, it does actually work. You can see the guides on this side. Kinda hard to see the smart guides with the color I chose here as the background. But there you can see now I very quickly created a grid. So let's come back over here to the popover menu. If you're wondering, well, what happened to all my snap controls from the previous version of Inkscape, now what you can do is come over here to this little link that says advanced mode. And when I click that link, now we have all of our options here for our snapping, including the new alignment feature or the smart guides as I'm calling it. And you have all your usual snapping options. So this button here, something that I think is a little confusing about this, it says reset to simple snapping mode. So you can't keep your custom settings and go back to the simple snapping mode here. At least that's as far as I understand it. So whenever you're in the advanced mode and you make a bunch of changes, you pretty much just have to click out of there and keep it in advanced mode. So maybe it just doesn't make sense to have these things showing as enabled when you have customizations that have certain aspects of these things disabled. So maybe that's why they have to do that. But that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.